Oh my god. Um, you know what's the main thing about being a geek is, right? What? Being a fan of something. Being a fan? Be, be, being a fan? Yes. Using fans? Uh, yes, well, that makes it cooler, doesn't it? Ha! Make the show Yay! cooler! Yay! <laughs> The, yeah, the, this episode is brought to you by Oscillating Fans. Only brought out during summer. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, this is the As Yet Undecided podcast being hosted by two of the biggest geeks you can find. And um, fan number one and fan number two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, dear, so, my dear Duos. Yes. Um, why are you a fan of stuff? Now... No, it's, it's going to be very difficult because I'm not made out of metal no. and you can't plug me into a 120 volt socket. No. No. So, okay, let's rephrase it for me. Let's rephrase <laughs> it. What's it. So, what is the fan life? What does being a fan mean to you? Yeah, it's it's, it's like it's a simple question. Why do you like stuff? <laughs> why do you like stuff? <laughs> and why do you like the stuff more than other stuff? And why are you so obsessive over this stuff? Now... What? Yeah, you have to think about... Why do you have a waifu? <laughs> Why do I have a waifu? Like, I can Good question. Why do I have a waifu? I, I can imagine your mum saying one day, Why do you have a waifu instead of an actual wife? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'll be like, How do you know that term? <laughs> that, that, that would be my question. How do you know that term? Okay, so what is the, so what is the, life, the fandom lifestyle for you? Um, now... I would think it'll be going into certain categories. Um, first, that you had the initial hit. Yeah. Um, or as in a relationship, you would call it the honeymoon period. Right? Yeah. Right? And then the the, the more invested you are, yeah. the more of a fan that you become. Yeah. But this is where fandoms, some fandoms go wrong because you are invested so much that there is diminishing returns. And ladies and gentlemen, this is now the topic of the podcast, how fandoms can go so, so wrong. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So, I, I don't know how it used to be like in the 70s because you had you generally had no real investment. Dude, you're joking, right? Haven't you heard of the Sherlock Holmes fandom? Yeah, yeah. It's been around since the 1890s. Yeah, 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 but in saying, but, but in saying that, they, they they didn't know um, how to stalk Arthur Colin Boyle because he didn't die from stalking. Dude, he he was stalked, I bet. Yeah, yeah I, I bet he was stalked, but like a, a person coming from the other side of the world yeah. just to stalk at them. Oh, no, it wasn't that bad because transport wasn't expedient enough, yeah, so yeah, to speak. Yeah, this is brought... This podcast is now brought to you by Expedia. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, seriously, though, I think Arthur Conan Doyle was stalked, but only by fellow Londoners, so to speak. Yeah. Um, and, and, and this is brought out more and more um, due to technology. Yeah. This, okay, so, the first aspect of a fandom gone wrong, they start stalking the creators. Yeah. And, yeah, that... The, well, that's where I get a little bit iffy on. Oh, yeah? Oh, I, I won't go that bad. Like, like, take for instance, if I had to go see someone who I've travelled a long time for... Yeah? I expect something in return. Yeah? Right? L- l- like, if it was... Like, l- like, like take take the hosts of that podcast I watch, for instance, right? Yeah? Um, like... Uh, if I travelled all the way to LA, and if I told them, yeah, I would I would like to get free tickets to see the comedy gig, okay. just for example, and maybe I'll shut them a drink afterwards. I would love that. Okay. And I'll be satisfied, but I'm not going to go around and go around and like restrict. actually go to LA and go see the houses. And yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's the part I don't get. Yeah. Yeah, without authorization, of course. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way to intrude on somebody's life. I've heard a few YouTubers had a problem in which um, fans all over the world would just come by to their house. Yeah, um, what's his name? What's his name? Um, uh, damn it. Um, 
Because what did he do? No, no, no. Uh, be, because like they have this designated house. Yeah. That people go to. Like mothers would actually drive their kids to the house. Yeah. Where this YouTuber slash past Disney star actually live, and it's on Google Maps. It's it's exactly what it is. Jake Paul. That's the one. That's the one. Isn't that a little bit creepy? Yeah, it is creepy. And, and, and you know, you, who do you blame there? Do you blame the daughter for having this obsession? Or do you blame the mother for driving them there? Well, it's okay for kids to have obsessions because it's just something that kids do. But I don't think it was wise for the mother to support it. Yeah, that's about, that's about that boggles my mind. And that, that's the reason why... I, di- I, I didn't understand celebrity crushes when I, was a, when I was a teenager. I couldn't understand it. Because the likelihood of you seeing that person on the other side of the TV is pretty close to zero. Like, like winning the lottery? Well, oh well, yeah. You, you know, like having posters of pop stars in your bedroom and blah, blah, blah. It's all fine, but you have to accept that you're probably never going to be as close as you and me now. I was very fortunate that um, that I got to see a lot of my so-called role models when I was a kid. Yeah, like Tiger Woods? Yeah, like this close. Yeah. You were right behind him when he did a whack. Yeah, when he did a whack. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so did he have like an aura of godliness around him back then? Not no, now, uh, it's. I think because like you have to accept that they are not godly. They're not. Hu- they're not gods. They're not god. They're human. Yeah, they're human. So you have to treat them accordingly with with, with human decency. Yeah, are we human? Are we <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, but like, like, was, like, I always go back to when he did that whack. Yeah, something happened. What? It just showed, cause, because like that, because I, I usually because of my blindness, right? Right. I usually tell where the ball is purely by the sound. Yeah. Of the 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 stick hitting the ball. Okay. I had never heard that sound before. Wow. When he hit that ball, I have never heard that sound. It was that clean and that powerful. I was just like, I am never going to hit the ball like that, ever. I have never heard that sound again. Well, do you know, well apparently it cost about a million dollars to engineer a golf club in such a way to make that such a sound. Yeah, but, but, but then it's brought down to consumer level. Yeah. But it just shows how talented he, he is. La, da, da, da. Yeah. La, da, da. Anyway, back to stalking. At least he never stalked Tiger Woods. <laughs> like you just didn't follow him around all day in the, in the shadows. Oh no! Yeah, I, I didn't. Yeah, I, I, after like I saw him because we're talking about the two thousand New Zealand Golf Open. Yeah. Um, once at a distance. Yeah. That's when Dad brought the camera and he got Tom to take it back. Yeah. Because only press were allowed cameras only. Yep. Because you know, light hitting the eyes and blah blah blah. Um, Douglas versus hello, Douglas said hello. <coughs> yeah. In the case of Douglas said hello. And, um, and, and after him almost hitting me, yeah, um, we just looked around at other golfers. Okay. I'm just glad I got there for free. Yay! Okay. So first, so first stage of a bad fandom, the stalking, stage two. No, 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 that's that's probably stage two. Oh, what's stage one of bad fandom then? <coughs> um, trolling them. Oh, so YouTuber comments. YouTuber comments. YouTube comments. Um, Twitter comments, even though it made no, it makes no sense. Yeah. Um, and stuff like that. Um, and secondly, it's the stalking. Thirdly is the obsessing. Yeah. And fourth will be um, 
you, you know, you're, you're seeking the safety of that person as well as yourself. Oh, so like John Lennon's assassinator. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, or you know, you know, John. You know, you think about all of the the bad ones. You think John Lennon. You think Jodie Foster. Yeah. You think. I don't think you know Monica Sellers. I think I've heard of her. She was a tennis player. They got stabbed on the tennis court. Oh my god! Live on TV. Oh, it wasn't live on TV, but it was back in the nineties, and it was an actual event. Oh my god! Did she die? No, 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 no. She lived. Holy moly! Yeah, but like everything changed after that. What? What happened afterwards? Only because like she put all the protocols in her place, and her, and her ten, and she went down the tennis rankings because of the stalking. Oh wow! Yeah, that's freaky. Yeah, yeah. Um, you, you know, in my opinion, you want to be there for them. Yeah. But you want to be there in a positive way. And right. with what? And in terms of hate, okay. Have you heard of the term your your automata your automata stalking or your automania or something rather? Okay, tell me. That is when you obsess. Oh, that's when you obsess over a complete stranger or someone you, or celebrity or something rather. You think that they love you, but they never even meet you. You think that they're, your, that they're going to marry them or something. Yeah, yeah. And you actually stalk them compulsively. Yeah, because that, that's the point where it becomes diminishing returns. Yeah. For both parties, but more for you than it is for them, and, and it comes down to. Um, something missing in someone's life, and and it's purely a mental health perspective, but it's a healthy one. Mm. Fandoms in general, I'm talking. Fandoms in general are generally healthy until you get to the obsessive stalking bit. Yeah, be, be, because the, dimin- the diminishing returns are generally positive. Yeah. Um, but I know that in your case, that you are more of a fan than even I can be in some things. Such as? Like, you're asking, like, you, you were texting me during this hiatus that we had. Yeah. Asking me when Yuri on Ice is going to be on. Yeah. One, I one, we both love that show. Yeah. Two, I was the one that told you to watch it. Yeah. And three, even I didn't, like, like, you have made figurines for me. <laughs> <laughs> Not once. But twice. Because the first one was defective. <laughs> but still, <laughs> but still, you, you're more of a fandom than I could ever have, probably because of my mental health. But yeah. Yeah. This is a healthy fan. Yeah. You are not so healthy, but yeah. at least your unhealthiness is less healthy than some unhealthiness can be. Yeah. Yeah, because I, like, Huh, it's sort of like I get the initial diminishing return, yeah. but that's about it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never get up, I, I never plateau. That'll be the best way to describe it. I never plateau on my fandoms. So do you just keep on going up? No, or? no, no. Uh, no let's, let's just say that I don't go as, like, my increments are not that high. Oh, yeah? Compared, to, like, like, take for instance, if you're in a car, yeah, and the optimal level is, is 100 kilometers an hour, yeah. right? I'm more generally sitting at about 30. Oh, so you're you're on, on everything. Your optimal is 30. Yeah, my optimal is 30. Where's my optimal is like 150. Oh, never did the. Uh, well, I'm t- saying in your example that your optimum is 100. Yeah. And my optimum is about 30. Damn. Yeah, and, you know, for your fandom, it is the most diminishing return that you're possibly going to get. Why is that? Because you've, you, you, you have, you've plateaued. Yeah. So you've, you've had all of the positive experience. Yes. So that, that can be a positive in your end. Yeah. But a positive in my end is that because it is hyperbolic. Yeah. Um that I get the highest possible gradient at my 30. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. So, like, like you have gone from from an infinite gradient mm. to almost a zero gradient. Yeah. But I'm stuck at about one. Nice. <laughs> I can only go as high as one. So, yeah. But that's the best way that I can explain it 
For the mathematicians out there. Yeah, for the mathematicians out there. Yeah. <laughs> so you have your stalking, you have your, which is like the worst part of being a fan. How about hate them? When oh. fans turn to hate. Now, now you can you can you can do this a myriad amount of ways. Yeah. One, you could hate purely to troll. Yeah. Because, because you want that attention. Yes. From that particular person. And getting any sort of attention is better than nothing. Right. Because we live in a society that um, when something is hated, yeah, we seem to be more enthusiastic about it. Oh, I see. That... Um, you, you obsess yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our energy, mm-hmm. instead of focusing on the positives... Focus on the negatives. Focus on the negatives. Ah, oh, so... Uh, okay. What was it? Oh, I forgot. No, 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 no. Oh, um, Senpai noticed me. You so put- that, some of <laughs> the fans are, uh, pretending to hate things just so they can do a whole Senpai notice me? No, mm-hmm. I, I'll rephrase this in another way. Yeah? You could probably name your enemies more than your friends. I don't have enemies. I only have one. Yeah, but I have yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 like like people that that you do not like. Yeah. You could probably name them faster than your friends. Okay. Because let's try that on you then. <laughs> <laughs> name people that you hate. Uh, I I'm not going to say names because it's a podcast. But, oh, okay. but, but, but I'm just using this as an example. All oh, right. So you so you so you more seem to hate things with more passion than you love things. Yeah, a- a- and the same thing when you when you read something on the news. Yeah. Or something like that that completely outrage you. Yeah. Rather than something pleasant. Right. Yeah. So you're more likely to be in fandom if you hate something then. No 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 no. No, but you're using that hate. Yeah. To get more gratification than if you were, if you being positive about it. Wait, I thought fantasy was about things you love, not about things you hate. No, no but but it's, it, but it, like, this is where the diminishing returns start to get negative. Oh yeah. Yeah. The more you put into it, the eventually the more negatives you're going to bring in. Yeah, because because after the plateau. Yeah. That's it's downhill. Yeah, downhill. Yeah. Okay, but sometimes though the fans they just they hate things for nothing. Um, have you heard about the Sherlock debacle after series four? Oh no! Or, or, or even a new instance is the yeah. is the Stranger Things um, debacle that happened yesterday. Oh, what happened yesterday? Um, because because the Stranger Things cast were doing their press tour. Yeah. Uh, and this happened to them. It happened to Amy Schumer. It happened to a lot. And um. Jennifer Lawrence. Yeah. Um, when someone comes up to you and expects something because this is the life that you lead. Yeah. Therefore, you get everything on top of that. Yeah. It's like asking a photo from a fan. Yeah. When you're busy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like with kids. Why would you go hate some kids? They, they're tired. They need to... Yeah. Exactly. Rest. Dead right. Yeah. You're harassing kids. What's wrong with you? Yeah. And it's the whole human decency thing. Yeah. Um, having more money doesn't mean you treat them either greater or less as a human being. I know. Oh, man. Some people, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, you know, for me, I'm the same... It doesn't matter if I'm meeting you, yeah. if I'm meeting a Prime Minister, or... Arden just casually strolls around Auckland. Yeah, yeah, she does that from time to time. Yeah. Or you meet someone famous. Yeah. For me, you treat them exactly the same. Of course. Because we're all humans. Unless you're a dancer... Why do you keep bringing up the killers? Why do you keep bringing it up? Why not? It's comedy gold. 
considering that my two, the two albums that I originally, that my first two al- uh, CDs yeah. that I brought were the first Killers album yeah. and Usher's Confessions album. Okay. Which by all means, listen, listen to the Confessions album. It's great. Oh, have you heard about this rapper called like Little uh, Wash or something or other? I don't know. Never mind. Yeah, but but like the whole album is about him cheating. Confessions. No, no, che- yeah. he, him cheating. Yeah, him admit him admitting cheating. In his in his exams or in his life. Or? In his life, he he cheated on his proverbial wife. That's the whole album. Did he have a wife back then? Well, he did go go out with Chili. Yeah. For ages, and that was pretty much the catalyst. Oh wow. Yeah. And he got the girlfriend pregnant. The mistress. The mistress pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this, that album is great because, like, there's some albums now that you you listen to it yeah. and, and you're getting. Versace, Versace, Versace. Versace, Versace, Versace. <laughs> Versace, Versace, Versace. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's not. It's ba- it's basically the chant to the demon dimension where the devil was parada. Yeah. Yeah. Because like with <laughs> with many albums that you're you're getting yeah. um, a a a snaps a, a, a CD into their life. Yes. Any good album does that. You're not going to be like Justin Bieber and listen to that and try to critique his life. But if you think about um, the Life of Pablo album, that was great. Yeah. Because um, that was talking about his whole Kanye's fashion ups and failings and going out with Kim and all that sort of stuff. Versace, Versace, Versace. Um, or even oh, uh, On the Six album yeah. from Drake. Who was actually here last week? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, just, I, I watched Snapchats of it. It was great. Anyway, back to the whole fandom thing and hate them. Should I explain to you what happened with the Sherlock fandom after Series 4 aired? Please. There's a whole bunch of fans who really hated Moffat for not, for not making Sherlock and John a couple. <sighs> you may face palm. Uh, 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 n- 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 why? N- 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 now, now, I have to admit... Stephen Colbert, yeah, great, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, he he. Not Colbert. <laughs> Colbert. It's um, Colbert, not Colbert. B- b- because of whole Trump going to Japan thing. Yeah. Right? Um, because they're trying to to try and do Trump things. Yeah. Trying to install things in Trump, so they got the pineapple pen guy. Yeah. And say, um, <laughs> he did like, I, I have America, I have Japan. You go, and then Colbert says, I have a, I have a palm. I have a face. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, <but laughs> yeah. <laughs> but honestly, you have a whole bunch of fans who absolutely hate Series 4 just because they have not made Shark and John couple by now. But yeah. I'm like, why? Does it's it? just creepy. No, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it, do, yeah. it doesn't <laughs> retract, it doesn't retract from the story at all. Yeah. Uh, Sherlock and John are friends. They don't need to be a couple. Yeah. Me and Mike don't have to go out. Uh, yeah, it, it's sort of like, because you, you're always going to get the, 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 those fandoms that critique everything. Yeah. S- Star Trek is horrendous for them. The fandom? Yeah. yeah. It is horrendous. Hey, learning Klingon, great. Yeah. Right? But if you're going to critique a certain scene from an episode that happened 20 years ago, come on. Let it go. Let, let it, yeah, be like Frozen and let it go. Yeah. I still can't believe there is still Frozen fandom. And it's like, you have four-year-olds still wearing the Elsa dress. Yeah, I know. And it's like, you weren't even born when that film came out, and yet, how'd you? No, it'd be because like even the amazing stat that yeah, um, Elsa went up. The yeah, babies being named Elsa went up 
933% due to the movie. Nine to third? Nine, nine, nine to third times? Yeah. Oh, wow. Be, due to that movie. How about Anna? Yeah, 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 it would have increased, but not as high. Because Anna's already quite popular as a name. Yeah. Whereas Elsa's like something obscure, suddenly, boom! Yeah. And then, like, you have to think about people that that name oh, yeah, their that kids. Kind of, yeah. Now let's go to the... Okay, so we'll, get, we'll go back to the hate them afterwards, but let's go back to the slightly creepy parts of the fandom, such yeah, as yeah. naming your kids after your favourite characters. Yeah, the, the, the obscurity of it all. Yeah. Um, I, I like like for me for example it was sort of like it was a double edged sword yeah um because because you can say cause because you you know yeah. name, names are yeah. thrown out yeah. right because I I didn't have the ability to choose my name no because you, you can only do that later in life you can do it by deep or something rather yeah yeah but but like for you for example for example, mm. you have your actual name and then you have your English name. Yeah, which is my yeah. English name is now my actual name now. Yeah, but for me, yeah. um, my, my parents discussed because you know, pregnant, you got nine months to think of a name. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, no, a little less than nine months. You don't really, you, you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I was two weeks early. Okay, which explains a lot. But yeah. that's okay. <laughs> um, but. You, you know, you know, you throw names out there. Yeah. I was originally going to be called Spencer. Spencer, Mike. Spencer. Kinara. Yeah. Yeah. You being Spencer, I can't imagine you being Spencer. It's too, it's too English, too posh. I know. Um, and, and the other one was George Michael, right? Yeah. Because they liked the name Michael, but they wanted to name me after my grandfather, right? Yeah. Which I can get. Then George Michael came out of the closet. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. You and, told me that story. Yeah. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying for the viewers, yeah, how that story came about, and, and, and like they saw. Oh, guys, talking about the closet, I would love someone from the LGBT community to tell me about any skeletons they found in the time of the closet. Come on, <laughs> yeah, surely yeah. found some secrets of your family, like a random femur. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, or, or maybe a mer- or maybe a body that your parents have killed ages ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, go back to George Michael. Yeah, and, and they thought of that as a unnecessary um, part. Yeah. So, yeah. So now you're, you're Michael. Yeah. Middle name? George? Michael George? Jo- John. Michael John. John. Named after, his, named after my grandfather's brother. Okay. Which I can get by. Yeah. Um, yeah. And what is your personal take? You know, you know you're a redneck when you're named after a Confederate soldier. <laughs> you, you know you're a redneck. No, you, no I, I said that wrong. You know you're a redneck when you're named after a Confederate general in your family. That's about it, yeah. yeah. Okay, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, Robert Lee, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... <coughs> no, but... <coughs> My take on what? No, well, yeah, what, what is your personal take about naming your kids after a fandom? Uh, <laughs> um, don't make it too obvious. So for, um, do, well, yeah. Otherwise they'll get teased about it. Yeah. So for example, um, okay, it's fine to name your child um, John, yeah. but, it's not na- but it's not okay to call him Ix- Ixio. Yeah. Unless you're actually Italian. Yeah. Um, so, John's alright. You know, you know, it's just a reference to John Watson, but you don't want to make it clear to other parents that you're a fan of Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my take on it is that name your kid whatever you want. Right? Even Talia does a hula from Hawaii. Wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. But don't put any random letters in it. Extreme call this. <laughs> yeah. You, you don't put random letters in there that make no sense in putting it to their pronunciation. Like saying uh, Michelle as M Y S H L L S M Y S H E L L. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. And then and E E at the end for good measure. You, you, or Michaela as uh, my 
M Y C I K A Y A. That's a that's a white that's a white person speaking thing to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just like why? I know the whole unique thing. Oh, and the first list is silence. That's what they always say. <laughs> It's a silent, it's a silent Z. <laughs> the, D, the D is silent. <laughs> the D is, oh, that, that could mean so many things. It's a, it's a Django reference. It's, yeah, yeah, but still it can be. I know, I know it can be. It's in your, it's in your endo. Yeah, in, in your endo. In, in your endo. <laughs> Otherwise known as an Italian suppository. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> In so anyway, I don't pass slightly creepy pass of fandom. Um, uh, what's that? So having shrines. What's your take on shrines? Okay, okay. Um. Now, okay. Firstly, you, you f- firstly you need to think about like like. Hi, the, birdie. The, the, There's the, a bird the, in the room. Sorry. There's a bird in the room. Is there a bird in the room? Oh, okay. Yeah, you bird, scared bird, away. Bird, bird in the room. And I'm not talking about me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway. The, the bird wanted to be in the podcast. Um, you you Tries. have to you have to think about how it manifests. Yeah. Um. Like take for example, you, you know, if you were look, you know, trying to be a fan of a band, for example. Yeah. First, you would go with the posters. Then you go with the merchandise. Then, yeah, then you go with the merchandise. Then you go with the album. No, no. First, you go with the po- no. First thing's first, you get all the CDs. Then you get the posters. Then you get the merchandise. Then you get the tickets. Yeah. Then you start doodling things with, oh, I'm Mrs. Daddy Da. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, My sister used to be bad for that. <laughs> you should, who was she? Mrs. Beaver? Mrs. Cullen. Oh yeah, she was a fan of Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> she loves sparkly vampires, right? Why do you think vampires sparkle? I don't know. He doesn't know. I don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. Um And you honestly know, the whole sparkly vampire got so ridiculous, the Sims 4 referenced it. Oh yeah. No, the um, Sims 3 referenced it too, like. When you have a special potion for your Sims and then they go out in the sunlight, they just cover themselves in sparkles. Okay, uh, 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 okay. The, the, this is probably the, the the best way to do it. You know, yeah. When your when your shrine is yeah, you know when your shrine is bad. Yeah. One, when it becomes physical. <laughs> Two, like an actual shrine, like a corner yeah, of the room. Yeah, 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 an actual shrine. Yeah. Two. When when you dedicate a room to it, yeah. uh, you, but hey, hey, do do firstly do whatever you want. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to critique you for having. Oh, through. Oh, you know what? You know how else you know your shrine is bad? You make daily blood sacrifices to it. That was well. That was going to be part of my three, but I wanted to say that one. Do whatever you want yeah. as long as it's healthy. Yeah. Right? You can have dedicated rooms to Lego and Barbies or whatever. Yeah. Fine. People have have gaming rooms. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, and, and speaking about the new computer that I want to grab, it's actually a LAN computer. Yeah. Which, which would be great. So you can <coughs> have two people gaming off the one PC. Yeah. Um, three... When it when you get voodoo dolls, <laughs> <laughs> unless you're Haitian, in which case it's part of your culture, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, we, we, if you're non-Haitian and suddenly start, start, start using voodoo dolls, you might want to start questioning your life a bit. When, when you when, when curses come involved, yeah, like I, <coughs> I wonder how many people cursed Yoko Ono just because. She was oh like, God, so many, <laughs> so many. <laughs> That's when you know it's not healthy. Okay, if you wish, if you wish, and. Unlimited hate on problem. People like Yoko Ono, yep. you have a problem. I, I figured out maybe it's just me. Is that if you think about it, yeah, there's a thousand people doing it at least. Right, right at this moment, trying to curse Yoko Ono. Yeah. Why? 
I don't know. If you if you're thinking about it, probably a thousand people are thinking exactly the same thing that you're thinking. Oh yes. Yeah. Maybe in a different way. Yeah. And the thing that makes us individuals is that we take that and we do it in different ways. Yeah. Okay. Just like what um, Benjamin Franklin once said. What? There's 999 ways how to not make a light bulb. That's Edison. Oh, Edison. Yeah. Yeah. Um. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, now back to hate them. Hating things for no apparent reason. So we have the Sherlock fandom. Um, That's one big egregious example. Another example, the Citron sauce. Oh, God, that was hilarious. No, no, no. Rick and Morty. Rick and Morty. Now, now, th- that's a point where hating them, uh, hating, yeah. trolling, yeah. and taking the piss yeah. have all united. <laughs> oh, no. In a nutshell. Yeah. That's that whole Sichuan sauce debacle. Yeah. Um, y- you know, it, it, it is Star Trek-like because they're taking a scene yeah. that made... Zero sense to the creators. Yeah. They just did it for the hell of it. Yeah. And people have rocked onto it and it completely manifested. Yeah, in a terrible way. And it is, in like, it is everyone's but the creator's fault. Okay. So, shall we explain what the Sichuan sauce is? Because if you haven't been to a McDonald's in America, you probably have no idea what's happening. Um, yeah, and, and, and like, I know the recipe for Sichuan sauce and it's. It's pretty easy to make. Okay. Explain the Citron sauce situation, please, because you're in the Rick and Morty fandom. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks. Actually, Insane that Season 3 was great. Series 3? <laughs> no, uh, series 3 was great. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah um, in, in Season 2, Episode 1, um, the, it, um, Rick was in an alternate dimension. Rick is the big, white, puffy scientist guy, right? Or the granddad. The, the, the Einstein. Yeah, they're on the Granddad. Yeah. Granddad Rick. Granddad Rick got captured and they used his brain to put him in an alternate dimension. Okay. Or, yeah, with the stuff that you he, you were thinking about in your brain, it happen, right? Because they're trying to get um, the... Chem- the um, Who's they? Who's... Uh, the, the people that captured him wanted the formula for, universe, for infinite fuel. Yeah. Right. And, like, take, for instance... I, anything that will appear in his memory would happen in his dream. Okay. Right. Um, in his dream. Yeah, yeah, because it's like dream manipulation. So he was, so he was stuck in a dream. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you know, like, cause, like they're talking about how to manipulate to try get the formula. Yeah. And they're talking about oh yeah, let, let, let's, let's go to McDonald's. Oh man. If I'm dreaming, if I'm in this dimension dreaming, yeah. I'm gonna go to McDonald's get them get some Szechuan sauce. Yeah. That was brought out on as a uh, McDonald's condiment. Yeah. To to um for the release of 1998 movie Moolah. Okay, so why did he want to get Szechuan sauce? Because because it happened, you know, it happened in 1998. Yeah. And I'm like, man, since I'm dreaming this, I'm gonna have Szechuan sauce again. Why not? Why not? I'm in a dream. It's all back in my memory. So he's, Why not? So he's having a lucid dream. Yeah. Oh, wow. Manipulated by the other people. Okay. Right. And that stuck. Oops. Right? Um, <laughs> because, like, cause, like, in your memory break, you think about the memory of having that yeah. back in 1998. Anything that happened while you were in the past yeah. is immediately um, extrapolated. Right. Right. For positive or negative, it is completely extrapolated. Okay. So the sensation that you have for a particular product, over time, it would deviate higher or lower depending on what. And that's what the dream does. And that's that's what the dream does. Yeah. Yeah. So like, 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 take for instance, if you didn't watch Sherlock, Mm -hmm. at that particular time, you wouldn't be wearing a deer stalker right now. No. Right. And. People locked onto this guy. I remember that mm-hmm. back twenty years ago. I want that to happen again. I watched this from the source back in McDonald's. Yeah. So the recruiters were like, "Okay, let's make this funny joke." McDonald's sees funny joke. Why don't we capitalize on this funny joke? Yeah, but they didn't. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. For for McDonald's discredit, you did it the, <laughs> you did it the wrong way. 
<coughs> explain. Um, but because of that, mm? they said, okay, one day only, we're, we're bringing back Szechuan sauce. Yeah. It is only going to be at selected McDonald's, which I get. Mm? Right? Because you, you're creating elusivity. Yeah. Right? So, um, so they came to that particular McDonald's where it was, mm. and you ended up, and you ended up that the supply of the sauce was minute. <laughs> oh no! So you have lines about hundred long. A hundred, and... yeah, hundred long for five things. <laughs> yeah, and, and and that's how it all started. Um, l- um, like windows were broken. I think it even a McDonald's actually caught a light. Oh no! <laughs> um, the, the the video of the, the of this guy trying to imitate Rick. I'm forgetting. Yeah, he yeah. was standing on the count. He was standing on the bench top, right? Yeah. He was standing on the bench top. And he was dancing. Yeah. Yeah. Of sorts. Yeah. It was disturbing. Yeah, I pickle Rick. Rub dub dub dub, and it was just like, you know, him doing that. Yeah. At that point. Uh, you know, if I was doing it, yeah, I would. I would be doing that to take the piss out, yeah, of them. But all, all of the smashing windows and abusing staff, you're doing it the wrong way. Yeah. What What you need to do is that you need to go up the channel. Yeah. You know McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like McDonald's got a hell of a lot of Twitter hate because of it. Yeah. It's like, why didn't you supply them with more Sichuan sauce? <laughs> and just for just for everyone, the ingredients are tomato sauce, soy sauce, and teriyaki sauce. That's pretty much. And what quantities? Like in equal quantities. Uh yeah, I would think yeah, I would manipulate the quantities, the, the quantities. Yeah. But that's the ingredients for it. Okay. Uh, um, and they they said that. We did. We completely underestimated the <laughs> <plan and laughs> Do you often sometimes go like, "Okay, let's do something." Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and they and they didn't even, um, you know, the cre- the, the creators of Rick and Morty d- didn't even want to be have a part of it. They're like, we did this as a joke. We did not expect this to happen. Yeah. And McDonald's was like. Oh, yeah. We didn't quite realize people like Sichuan sauce that much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so yeah. yeah, we did it as a joke. We're gonna, we, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna test the waters. Yeah. And a tsunami happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Yeah, I'm afraid we have to censor that now. Yeah. But it was a well placed, I, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, and and look, you know, you know, to all credit. Yeah. To um, Adult Swim for bringing up season, bringing up series three on YouTube. Yeah. Great marketing plan. Which is? No, just just like put it on YouTube. Don't don't you know strike anyone for releasing it. Yeah. Just just like what what's been going on with Denuvo at the moment, like with with gaming yeah. cracks and all that sort of stuff. As soon as they crack the pirating software, they just. Cancel the Denuvo software, do a patch, and off you go. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the best way to go around things, because you want to, because... Let it spread naturally. Yeah, yeah, let it spread naturally. Yeah. Because as soon as you put a restriction in there... Yeah. That's when pirating thrives. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's do one more fandom before we go, because we have to go by that. It's already 3.30. <laughs> <laughs> You're picking that out too, okay? Yeah. Um, that wasn't that well placed. Uh, how about the Valve fans for, for Valve not creating any more games? <laughs> oh my god. It's like, one, one. They don't owe you anything. <laughs> yeah, we are one. Valve can do what it wants. It's a private company owned by Gabe Newman. Yeah, yeah. Gabe is worth one and a half billion dollars right now. <laughs> he can do whatever he wants. Oh, how Lord Gabe is. I mean,. I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. He doesn't owe you anything. He's not beholden to anyone. Yeah. So he doesn't. He doesn't have to listen to you. Um, I I will say that the closure that we got. Yeah. Um, three weeks ago, I think that was that was a great thing. Closure for what? Um, one of the writers. 
of Half-Life 2 wrote out what he wanted for uh, the plot, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he... I didn't read it. But he did it in a way... Yeah. Um, ...that you can associate. Yeah. Which characters were which. He didn't do it directly. No. Because if he did that, he could be sued for Valve. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, but it was good closure. I yeah. think it was great closure for the... If there was to be a Half-Life 3... Not that, likely, that's, no. That start... Yeah. Because that, that would have been the first third of Half-Life 3. In my opinion, that story. Yeah. That he wrote down. Um, yeah. And people were happy with having that closure. Yeah. Even though, you know, it was 10 years. Yeah. But to be fair, though, Gabe knew I was pretty chill about lots of things, I realised. Like, we, they don't really care if people copy the game, so long as it's not a direct rip-off. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So for example, Overwatch. I mean, it's, it's basically like a reskin Dota. Yeah. But they didn't sue anyone for that. Yeah. Even though they were, like, direct competitors. Yeah, because... I mean, because Valve could have actually could have sued and won, but they didn't bother. Um, yeah, it's just like, as, as long as it's transformative. Yeah. Whereas the other day, the other time, they sued a mobile game because it's basically Dota with the characters renamed. <laughs> That's about it. Whereas with Overwatch, they, they introduced new characters, new, new powers, new things like that. Yeah. yeah. And usually when it comes to those sort of things, yeah. um, they see a gap in the market yeah. that the current company is not doing. Yep. Then they do it. Mm-hmm. Right, you can say the same. You know, you can say the same thing for Nintendo, um, Super Mario Maker for existing. Yeah, because that was on the internet. Yeah, Nintendo shut it down. Yeah, two years later, that game started. Like Super Mario Maker, but actual official version. Yeah, official version. Nice. Because you saw a gap in the market. Yeah, and then it, it ended up being an overwhelming success. Yeah, right. Purely because of concept. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Uranium. Another fan made game. Another fan made game. Took them nine years because there hadn't been a proper Pokemon game in so long. Yeah. Now you're getting Sun and Moon, X and Y. Sun and Moon 2. Oh, but Ultra Moon, Ultra Sun. And then you're getting a whole new game for the whole new Pokemon game for the Switch. Nice. Gap in the market. Hey, um, Super Mario Odyssey is doing quite well, isn't it? Yeah, um, I will say that the ending is a little bit meh. Weird. No, no, it's it's not weird. It's predictable. No, oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I've I've watched the ending, so I was just yeah. like, yeah, it's predictable. Oh well. Anyway, um, we have to run off now. So. Yes, because we have a Black Friday sale to go to. I yeah, I cannot believe that that part of Americana is now here in New Zealand. I mean, yeah. we already have the Boxing Day sale. Yeah. It's like, everyone get their Christmas presents. In what? which case, um, hey Mike, why don't you do the um, Evergreen lead, evergreen outro? And so, so we don't have to say who we are again. Okay. Yeah, we are who we are. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh.